I bet a lot of you have played naval games where it featured the Germans, the British, the Americans, Russians, or Chinese. I doubt if you've ever played a naval game that features the Indian Navy. Well, this new title, just coming out, should remedy that for you. The war between the Indians and the Pakistan nation was set in 1971, so like cold waters, you're in a period where the technology is somewhat limited. This forces you to change tactics from the modern era to the limited era of 1971 and gives you an opportunity for some interesting tactics. I got the game last week and I've had about four hours so far and I've enjoyed it. So come with me and I'll go through a couple of the first few missions to give you an idea of what this game looks like. Well, this is a game where I haven't spoken to the developers personally, uh, so I don't know exactly what their plan or their roadmap looks like. Currently, the game only has a campaign and it's structured. It's uh, not going to allow you to go sailing off in the ocean looking for action. You're going to follow the plot and when you replay it, the plot will be exactly the same. At the beginning of each mission, you get a little radio traffic pretty well done with the uh, correct accents. Gives you an idea of what the setup is and what to look for. And then you start the mission and you have objectives that are clearly laid out for you. For example, the first mission asks you to fly over and find out the source of an explosion. And then from there you get in a dogfight with some patrol boats. Controlling the naval vessels is pretty straightforward. Basically just use the keyboard, WASD key. Let's head over in the direction of our objective and see what's going on over here. So now that we have our naval vessels in position, the game wants us to launch aircraft. Here are some of the options and controls you use. Unfortunately, they don't have joysticks enabled yet, but they did say in their form they will, which I think will greatly improve the game. Okay, here we go. Now review the controls. Ready to launch. Well, I guess we have our first casualty. Let me go back and review the controls and maybe invert my mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. Hopefully I will stay out of the water this time. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I'm still getting the feel of it. I'm not real smooth. Plus, I never ever play games with just the uh, keyboard. Even the Battlefield games, I would use a joystick. Okay, so there is our objective. Let me see if I can get close enough to it to view it without crashing. Yep, looks like one of our ships got torpedoed. And now it's telling me I have some other objectives which seem to be patrol boats. Now, this is where it gets tricky. You have to learn how to manage the plane at the same time not get hit by their AA guns. probably should gain a little altitude so I can come down at an angle. I'm not a veteran dive bomber, so I'm not going to pretend to be one either. Seems a little bit tricky trying to get lined up. So now that I've established how not to do it, let me try again. So far, so good. Much easier with the joystick. I repeat, 
I'm finding that using the rudder on the plane helps me line it up right to left. And I can use the scroll key on the mouse. That allows me to zoom in to the instrument level. Also allows me to zoom in to the target level. Now I just gotta get lined up and hold down the shift key so I can fire missiles instead of machine guns. And I only have eight missiles, so I really can't waste them. Uh, but on the other hand, this is going to take some practice, so I'm going to see how, how effective I can be. Uh, oh, I just missed the button too soon. At least this time I didn't get wet. Now, let's go line up on another target. Here we go. Let's try the machine guns this time. Like they're shooting way high from the target. Maybe I'm too far away. There we go. That's a little better. Still didn't get wet, but I did get a couple of hits, looks like. All right, let's turn and come in for another approach. Uh, this one's moving at a high speed, it looks like. That's going to definitely complicate things. Right rudder, get almost lined up. Pull out, pull out. Oh boy. Neil, would you like me to compute your speed and dive angles? No, Wendy, I've got this, I've got this. Get back to what you were doing. Okay, carry on. What a thing to ask me right in the middle of a review. I just noticed that they have health bars, so that'll help me decide which ones to use machine guns on to finish them off. Okay, maybe not that one. Okay, I've been at it for a while now. You can see my plane's taking a lot of damage, but I think I can make it work. One more to go. Don't blow it now. Success at last. Now on to the second mission. This turns out to be a helicopter reconnaissance mission. It looks like the controls for the helicopter are about the same as they are for the plane. He even mentions raising the gear. I've always been really good with helicopters, so I don't expect to be this to be too much of a problem. All right, this is going to take a bit of a learning curve, also. Someday, I hope this game gets a joystick. This will be a lot more fun. My assignment is to inspect the cargo ships in the area and look for a specific one. So if this one is named correctly, this is not the one I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is called Alamedi or something. But I may as well go ahead and take a closer look at it. Hey, everything looks good. Let me go take a look at the next ship.
appears we have two unidentified ships approaching the international boundary. I'm guessing that means we need to intercept them before they reach the international boundary or we can't attack them. Except they don't know me too well. I'll attack them wherever they go. Okay, I've got the suspect ship. I'm not sure how I'm going to stop him. Maybe I'll just get in his way and threaten him. Up, 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 up. Well, now he knows I'm here anyway. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky trying to hover. I'm going to have to adjust the throttle using the key off and on. Whoa, that ship smokestack is really playing hell with my trim. I hope my Indian commandos don't get airsick too easily. Man, how fast is this cargo ship going? I'm making 60 knots and I'm barely keeping up with it. They don't play around when they head for the border. There we go. I see a progress bar. Just a few. Oh, got to get back in the zone. I think I need about 10 seconds in the zone. Let's do it again. Let's go in from the side and avoid that smokestack. Okay, finally. Please add joystick to this game. Hey, I look pretty good from here. Okay, so this leads us to our next mission, which is to intercept the two speedboats that are trying to take over my ship full of commandos. I'm going to head over there and warn them off, sink them if I have to.
looks like this ship is only equipped with torpedoes and anti-aircraft. I'm not exactly sure which one to use on this ship, but I think I'll go ahead and send a spread of torpedoes in their direction just to see what happens. I don't know what kind of torpedoes these are. I'm probably out of range and I have no idea if I'm supposed to lead the target. Looks like my torpedoes missed. I'm closing the range. We'll find out how effective any aircraft is. Okay, so getting hits isn't too hard. I just need to keep pumping that into it. Okay, one down. Let's roll around the side of our cargo ship and pick up the other one. This version of the game doesn't have difficulty levels, so I guess stationary targets like that are the norm. This is F1490 reporting, region is clear for Package is in custody at boys are safe. Over and out. I would like to see the devs add some difficulty levels. Ships like that shouldn't be stationary, they should be a moving target. Next mission was a bit of a surprise and a challenge. Basically, you have to decode Morse code messages, and I don't know Morse code, so this is really a steep hurdle for me. Four minutes. All right. You have four minutes, started. officer. This is going to be a slow, grueling process. I hear a clock ticking, but I'm not really sure how much time I have left. Oops, that's wrong. It tells you when you make a wrong letter. That's good. I need to hurry. I think I'm just going to guess a little bit. This is too much like school. You 
you did great translating the message into English, officer. The infamous commander of PNS Ghazi, Zafar Mohammad Khan, aka Zabi, is relaying to the go back to shooting in Karachi. The coordinates he is heading to. Yeah, this is more like it. Looks like we got a submarine to hunt. I believe this is a Tench class submarine that the uh, United States sold to Pakistan. It's not going to be around much longer if I have anything to say about it. Okay, so where's the submarine? I don't see any submarine. Why that sneaky rascal? This ship has cannons with no depth charges. Well, that's okay. We'll see what we can do. The submarine will have to be on the surface for us to get him, though. I don't think any submarine captain is that dumb unless he's desperate. Maybe we can catch him when he's charging his batteries. Let's see how fast this ship goes. Top speed of 36 knots. Not bad. I really like the atmospheric effects. The mist, the darkness. This is really the best this game's looked so far. if he's on the surface to pick him up on the radar screen, but I don't think I've seen him on there. Ah, uh, take it back. He just came on. He came on the screen. He's just in range. And let the fun begin. What the hell? He fired a torpedo at me. Oh, man. I should have known better than just go straight at him. Bad, bad move on my part. It's time to do some weaving and ducking. Packy sub, where are you? Subsided. Open fire. I guess I need to lock these rascals. I can see him. I better slow down to match his speed. There's really no ranging device for this, just point and shoot, kind of lob him over. He must be moving at top speed. I hope he doesn't shoot another torpedo at me from his stern tubes. Looks like my uh, damage is pretty close to complete. There we go. Looks like I need about three more shots like that.
Did I get torpedoed or what? Let's, let's look at the replay. Yep, torpedo from his stern tubes at close, point blank range. Let's take a do-over. Uh, this time I'm definitely not coming straight ahead at him. Want to weave and maneuver. Make it hard for him to hit me with the torpedo. Oh nice, I got an alert. I don't remember that last time. Ah, still got me. Okay, I'm going to change things up. I know I'm pretty close and I've got him on a broad AOB. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get him with torpedoes. I'm going to lead him this time. Maybe lead him a little more. Well, I hope you liked the preview of this new game, Indian Navy. Get a look at it over at Steam. I'll put a link down below. Please don't forget to click the like button. Otherwise, this thing will never be seen by anybody. I'm counting on you to click that like button. And if you subscribe, that'd be good too. That's all for today, fellas. Have a great afternoon and good hunting.